Hey y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I was going to do a little tuning and maybe um, uh, cleaning up of the the pivot and the O-ring, uh, the O-rings, the uh, ceramic cage ball bearings, that's washers, and uh, maybe tune the detent a little bit on this knife and kind of get a feel to see what I need to do. It's something I typically do with a lot of knives and I thought I'd go through it with this particular knife. I don't think I have any skiff bearings that will fit this right now. I've got some that I'm going to be ordering, but we'll take a look and see what happens. The first thing I like to do is I usually like to put a little bit of oil in right away just to kind of get a feel of will that change the whole action quite a bit. So what I'll do here is I'll just put a little oil in right here. I'm doing this and I also like to put a little bit right here on the detent ball so this is the nano oil 10 weight I've used it quite a bit you can see it's not even can't even read it anymore probably need to get a new bottle and this is the nano oil 85 weight this is the heavier higher viscous stuff so this I will go ahead and put right here So just a little drop right on the detent ball. I like to work that in a little bit. Go back and forth. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, already closing quite a bit better. Yeah, definitely closes quite a bit better by itself. That's for sure. Definitely nice. Yeah, I think I might still take it apart. So let's go ahead and take a look. These all look like they might be T8s. There's a Wea um, wrench and the Wea bits right here. So I'll probably go with the, well, let's go with the 8. Let's see the T8 first and see what we've got right here. Oh, well, seems to have a lot of room. So let's try the T10s and see if that's a T10. Okay, so that is a T10 pivot. Uh, but I suspect there are T8s on the rest of the screws. Well, maybe let's take a look. Yeah, definitely a T8s. All right. So what I'll do is I like to take this off here. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like the clip is really attached to this backspacer, right? There's no standoffs here, it's just a backspacer. And this is a zirconium backspacer, zirconium uh, thumb, uh, thumb studs, and zirconium um, over, or washers right here. Um, very nice accent on, on the knife, I think. So let's go ahead and just take this apart. We'll start off with the screws on the scale here. So. That's a pretty long screw there. Well, as you can see, there's no hardware on this side, so it's all going all the way through. That's interesting. That's nice. Okay. And there's the washer. There's that. Here's your zirconium accents with a little pin to kind of keep it in place. That little pin right there. Got to make sure we keep that over there. Oops. All right. You can look at these washers right here. You know what? I may, while we have these out, hold one second. I'm going to grab my washers real quick. See if that looks like they might be the smaller ones. Let's take a look and see if they might actually fit. Now in my unboxing video, I talked a little bit about maybe putting O-rings on here because I don't know if you can see that. Looks like there's a little space back there. Wonder if the O-ring would fit on there. Be kind of curious to try that. All right, so these are the smaller ones. I bet they're the 0.2 millimeter or 0.2 inches, not the 0.89, but we can try it. Let's give it a try. I'll know as soon as I attempt to put this on. Does it fit? Oh, yeah. Right. 
Sorry, I got a little excited there. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll try, we'll go ahead and put the skift washers on there. Okay, so the skift washers that I'm putting on there are these right here. Rocket Glides, 3 16th point, inner diameter is 0.189 inches, outer diameter is 0 0.370 inches, thickness is 0 0.05 inches. It's 11 um, ceramic ball count. All right, and the balls are 1 16th of an inch. So as you can see on here, this one here has, let's see, what do we have on here? We have two, four, six, eight, nine. This is nine, and these have 11. So it's definitely gonna be a little, maybe a little more stability, right? All right, so one of the things that I notice here, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that down. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the blade down too. All right, so. What I like to focus on is this right here. This detent was pretty, pretty tough, but it has a stop bar right here, as you can see. And this is the steel insert. In order to adjust this back a little bit, I'm going to have to remove that. So I believe that's gonna be the T8. So let's try that. This is a very gentle process. I don't make massive adjustments right away. I make very simple adjustments. You gotta be slow and steady and go fast All right, so here's our insert screw getting these out can be interesting you just got to make sure they go straight up I try to get both sides here and, and work them a little bit if this takes too long we'll go ahead and speed this up so I'm gonna be quiet in case we have to speed through this footage Now, this clip is definitely riding on here, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off in this case so we're not fighting that. Put that over to the side. So now, here we are. As you can see, this right here is up a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to measure how much do I see coming over the edge right there. And you see that? That's what I'm looking for is this edge right here. Okay? So I do a very small adjustment make sure it doesn't go too far. So the first thing I want to do is try to go back just a little bit. Does it move anything? Okay, we'll go a little bit more. Does it do anything? Just a little bit more. All right, that's pretty pretty tough. Okay, might see a little movement. All right, looks like I've got a little bit of movement. I don't need much. All right, that's as much as I want to do. It's maybe a millimeter or two. And that's plenty for me and I can always come back and do this again right and that's fine all right so now we got the, the steel insert on there and I use Loctite 242 sorry I just like to make sure it's tapped down because if not it bubbles up to the tip of it sometimes spills everywhere all right so let's get our screw here Let's get a little bit on there. So just a little bit. Do you see that? Just a little bit on there. Nice and tight. Here we go. We're back. All right. All right. So now that we've got this cleaned up, we'll go ahead and take care of that. All right, so now what I like to do is, as I reassemble this knife, I like to put a little oil in key places. So right here, this would be a place that I put oil right in here. You can see this, it's really well milled out. That's really, really nice. I like that a lot. 
Typically, if I was going to continue to use the regular washers that they had, you'll notice that with their washers, part of it is exposed. That part right there, I would face that in to where it's going to be encased in here and it's kind of taken away from exposure to things. But since the skiff washers, they're sealed on both sides, they're going to be really great for something like this. All right, so I'll put that washer on top of here first, drop it on here, then I will go ahead and put a little couple of drops here, work that around. All right, and we're going to drop this blade right on top. All right, now this is a captive pivot, and you see there's a D right there, if you can see that. I'll bring it up a little bit closer. You can see how that's flat on one side? So I need to, to bring that edge, that flat part, to this part right here. And you can see how that's flat right there like that. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to make sure that's centered right there, right about there. Okay, so that's where I want it. It's facing that way. So when we're ready to assemble everything, will be in good place. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we put our insert, our back, our in, uh, our insert back on. Here we go. So this insert goes through the middle here. insert on first and then fit it right on top. Again we'll speed this up if this is taking too long. I don't want this video to last forever. Alright so there we go we got that. Okay. Now this is captive. I mean uh, the like the stop pin um, for the knife is actually in the blade and it works within the actual scales themselves and you'll see that there's a stop pin on both sides so it's stopping right now right there okay so that's good just want that centered over here now the next thing I want to do is put my oil on here now one thing I didn't do real quick so I typically put a little oil over here Before I put this on, I'm going to get my heavy duty 85 nano oil. I want this detent ball, this is the track that it's going to be riding on, okay? So I want to, I'm going to put a little oil in here. If you can all see that, make sure I'm centering here. I'll just put it on the track that it's going on, which is likely this track right here. And I'll put a little drop over here on this. There we go. All right, now let's begin to assemble the rest of the knife. I want to make sure we get that nice and straight here. All right. So right now we are in here, here, and here. So the first thing I want to do is put my collar back on. I want to hold that. Now. Let me get switch out my switch out my torque bits here so we can get the right size. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite 242. Oh, I'm gonna lose that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this so we can see this. Make sure we're being precise and not oh that's exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, I have a little too much. Yeah, way too much. Let's clean that up. I don't want to have that much on there. That's way too much. All right, let's do that again. Try to see if we can be a little cleaner. I'm trying to do this for the video, so I apologize if uh, it gets a little messy. But all right, so now we have some on on the screw. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on here.
reverse thread it till I hear the click and then I'm going to go through. And I usually just tighten it up until I get a little resistance. So about right there what I'm first going to do. Now I'm going to put the rest of these screws on here with a little bit of Loctite. Probably just on the very edge because I think that's all it's going through. Yep, all the way through there. We'll put the other one on here. Just a little touch. Alright, so we'll go back to our T8s. So reverse thread till it clicks. All right. Make sure we're centered. We are. Make sure we have any rock play. No rock play. Still locked up, nice and solid. Much smoother, I like that. I wonder if I can do the, yeah, I can do the middle finger reverse flick already without even putting the, without even putting on the deep carry clip. So that's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now we got the deep pocket carry clip back on. Let's see the action. Oh yeah, much nicer. And that's going to keep breaking in, especially because it's got the PVD coating on here. It's a little more friction on the knife, obviously, so, you know, we're going to have that we're dealing with and contending with. So until that really, really breaks in, that's kind of one of those things you're dealing with right now. So I'm going to like have it drop right here. It goes down really nicely. It can choke up really nicely on this knife. This edge is crazy. I love that, especially with that hollow grind. Just drop that really nicely. Let's see. Should be able to reverse flick that pretty nicely. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like the way it's cut out here. The thumb studs work really, really, really well. That's really nice. You can definitely use those thumb studs well. And I think once I got that, yeah. All right, so let's figure this out. Now uh, you guys are probably not too excited to see me learn how to reverse like that, but we'll get it down. But the action's already breaking in really, really nicely. I like that a lot. All right. Yeah. Now I did put. Let's make sure we're centered. Are we centered? Ah, uh, we might be off a little bit. Maybe I was starting to flick a little too soon. Let's see if we can tighten that up. Does that get us back to center? Uh, it does look like it's off a little bit, right? That could be because I put new washers on there, right? So the washers might have a little bit of variance. And sometimes the way to fix that is either I'll have to take it apart again and swap out the washers from side to side, and that could fix this, or I have to do what we call centering the blade. And I've had some other videos on that, and we can go through that maybe later. Don't want this video to be too long, but this is basically a just a quick little tutorial how to how to go through and do some of these things. I've talked about this before, and I've done a few examples of this, but man, the action's already so much nicer. Now, I hardly did anything on that uh, on the de detent in the, fr in the frame lock here. It's just ever so slight, maybe a mill millimeter. But for me, that makes a huge difference, and it's already dropping buttery smooth. I like that a lot. So for you, that could be something worthwhile. Now, 
if you find that it's just a little too loose you could do the same going instead of going out like I did you can go in just ever so slightly and kind of get a measurement of where it where your frame where the bar here is on the frame lock how far in is it and then do a very slight bend and see if you can just get a little bit more um, bend inwards that's going to give you a, a little tighter detent and that might be something worthwhile to do I think you will find that to be very very beneficial especially if you like stronger detents likewise if you like lighter detents this is something very simple to do as long as you're patient as long as you've got good tools and as long as you don't get frustrated right and you take your time and, and make sure you know how to reverse things right so there you have it this is the Brian Brown Raptor 2 I just tuned the detent changed out with skiff KH ceramic ball bearing uh, washers KH ceramic uh, washers and uh, man I like this already very nice very nice if you like this video and found it interesting entertaining or of value would you consider subscribing maybe hit the like button below I sure would appreciate that and then if you like this content and find it of value would you consider uh, checking me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives that's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks so much for watching today and y'all have a great day and a great week bye